Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and welcome in another tutorial for Lex Animator. In this video we will focus on setting up Lex Animator on different kinds of models, I will show how to deal with different kinds of rigs, show you some fast setup tips and describe different helpful settings for animals. Ok, let's go! Let's start with a basic setup, so I add the Lex Animator, find the hips, add first leg, since there are many bones in hips of the spider, we will use drag and drop through the hierarchy. Now simply select upper leg and foot. Apply this scheme for all similar bones in hips. Assign opposite legs automatically. Check if scale reference is right. Apply insect preset. And now ready we can test the behavior. And it moves pretty well. But not every model will have so easy setup like this one. Let's do setup for other model. Again add legs animator, find hips. Let's verify if this is the right bone. And it's not, the parent of legs is this one. Ok, let's add leg and let's use gizmos to define first leg. And we have a lot to choose from there. How to deal with that? Think about second leg as knee, so I will select this one. So you see that you can skip bones in between. I will select last bone as a foot, and that's how the chain looks like. Apply this scheme for all similar bones in the hips, but it seems it also applied it to the arm, so let's remove just this leg, like this. Define which leg is opposite to each other, apply insect preset. And let's test it. Yeah, and it moves pretty well. Let's move to another model. Find hips, add leg, define first leg. And in this model I will do chain like this, so knee and then foot. Now apply to all similar in hips, but you see that it generated only two legs. And that's because this model has multiple spine bones and in each spine bone there are two legs. That's not a problem, but we need to do extra steps. So let's find other legs in a hierarchy. And I will drag and drop the new upper leg here and it generates the new leg basing on the chain of the first leg. Do the same to the rest of the upper legs. Great, now let's assign opposite legs, apply insect preset and let's test it. And it moves pretty nice. And this model will be good to show you something extra and it will be related with a foot bone. So this model was offering more bones for a foot. In comparison to previous two models I chosen the right foot bones and not the complete end bone. Like it's done now for the middle leg. So chain goes from knee to the ground. Now let me show you the difference. So when chain goes from knee to the ground, the whole leg rotates. But if we have a foot bone, it stays still like a human foot. You will see it better on the next spider model. We will set up leg animator on. But now one more thing for this model. Since it has multiple spine bones, we can apply my other plugin, which is Spine Animator. There is also Tail Animator on a tail. And it will generate animation for the spine like this. So you can combine these two components together. But when you use it with Spine Animator, it's possible to get two legs being very close to each other. And you can use the step overlap radius to prevent this. Ok, now the spider model I was talking about. So let's set up the leg. And you see that it don't have leg point at the end. It's not a problem, it still will work. So let's assign opposite legs and apply insect press it and let's check it. Yeah, and it moves very nice. But you maybe notice that there is something a bit off with these foot bones. Actually, let me show you this a bit more clearly. Yeah, now you see that the foot bones are dead still like the human foot should behave like. But how to solve this if there is no additional bone here? Well, it actually don't need to be any kind of bone. 
It just needs to be information where the end of the leg is. And you see, when you rotate this bone, it works right. But game don't have precise information where the leg ends. So we need to provide this information manually by simply adding empty object and moving it to be around the end of this bone. Do the same for all the legs. And we need to assign this new objects to be end of the leg bones chain, simply like that. But there is also no objection for the automatic legs definition basing on the new scheme of the first leg. Define opposite legs. And then press it and let's check it again. Yeah, now it feels more like a true creepy spider. All right, now let's focus what this insect preset, which is used over and over, what it actually do. First then it disables animate feet. Under detection it changes ray casting to be alarm bones. Since ray casting straight down, will not detect any wall on the side. Origin to foot can detect wall, but it's not as precise. So alarm bones will cost the most, since it will use two ray casts for each leg but it will be more precise for creatures like this. And it switches to sphere cast since it will give even more precision and enables realign parameter, which can help out the crumpled legs in tight places like a tube or something. And you can consider enabling the zero steps on no ray cast. So if there is no ray cast, it will fake floor and still do the gluing animation. The insect preset is also randomizing the individual parameters in each leg, like this button, which can really help out the spider-like movement animation. Then the preset change in the gluing settings, like the allo glue drag. It's making leg animation move faster. It's changing some curves to different ones. And it's changing allo detach before to be a bit lower. You can try changing it even more to see how it affects your character. And it adds multi-leg legs helper module. So it generates a bit of order, which leg can rise and which cannot. And as a final thing, it do some tweaks in the stability and enable normalize push hips on leg move mode. And that's all what it does. Let's move to another model. On this one, automatic hips find fails. So let's find it manually in the hierarchy. There it is, parent of the legs, so let's assign it, add leg. Let's see gizmos and define first leg. But there is only one bone. Yes, actually it makes sense. Since you see that this bone rotates this part of the leg. But how to fix it? We need to do what we just did with the previous model. So add empty object and define where the leg ends. Great, now we can choose the end bone and apply to all. Define opposite legs, apply insect preset and check it. And there we have it. Now let's take care of this guy. Find hips, add leg and let's check what we have here. Okay, first leg is here. So again, we search for a knee. It should be no difference if I select this one or this one. And now I will use this bone as foot bone. Okay. And this time before doing the rest, we will enter play mode and check the leg. And it seems it moves right, but there's something wrong here. You see it moves instead of being still on the ground. And that's probably because we chosen uh, something like shoulder bone for the chain start. And its animation is causing this offsets on the ground. To fix that, we just need to change the start bone to be first child of this one. Yeah, so chain starts a bit later. So in case you set some quadruped and you have a shoulder bone, you shouldn't start on it, but you should start on the upper leg, not on the shoulder. You see that this chain just looks wrong. So the leg chain change you see now is pretty similar correction like we did on the spider monster. Okay, let's check it. And yeah, it works right now. 
But before applying it to the old legs, I will change the end leg to be this one to again show the difference for the foot bone setup. So let's try using the automatic setup button, but it not worked. It encountered some problem with identifying the similar leg bones, so I remove them and use the second approach, which is just drag and drop in the not shoulder, upper leg to copy scheme of the first leg and do it for the all legs. Assign opposite, insect preset and check it. Yeah, it moves right. Let's move on. Now let's do setup for a quadruped. Find the right hips. Set up first leg. Knee, foot. Do for similar bones. And let's find two other legs. And they are inside neck bone. And like said on a previous model, so not the assigned shoulder, but the upper leg. And knee and foot. And copies him on the other upper leg. Skip shoulder slash clavicle. Define opposite legs. And there we have some dialog, which suggests to add leg helper module to make animation look more for like an animal. You will find it under motion modules and it's here. Let's check how it looks like. And yeah, it moves nicely. But since it's quadruped, it will benefit on defining which bone is parent of the front legs. When you expand the hips, you will see field for assigning so-called hips hubs, so we assign their neck bone, which is parent of front legs. Now the hips push impacts will be calculated separately for each defined hips bone. It also will give possibility to adjust the spine on an uneven terrain, like you see there. But to make it work, you need to remember about the max body step up and step down parameters. When you change hips hubs blend to zero, the spine rotation will not be applied, but the hips push impact still will be calculated separately. Some models will have problem like this dragon. So you see that the foot bones are not rotated properly on the ground. And this is caused because the initial typos in which the hands are rotated this way. And you can fix it by simply rotating them manually in the editor mode. Like this. The same for the feet. And now it works properly. And there is another unique case. This model have two hips and they both are disconnected from each other. Like you see, root, body one, body two. And we can do correct setup without any problem. But when you move around this creature, you notice that the back armor is deforming. And we can fix it by extending the hips, adding the second body bone here and change hips handling mode to fix disconnected. And now it behaves like a one single spine bone. So that's how you do setup with a legs animator, but it's time for a few extra tips. You can encounter a problem when you want to play for example attack animation with a spider since it can conflict with legs animator algorithm, like you see there. I will slow down the animation so you will notice what actually is going on. So in the animation legs are moving near to the ground and then Gluin is trying to do its animation on that state. But we don't want it if the attack animation is played. So we can add utility, fade leg on animator module 
And there we can use selective bones to fade out on the animation. And let's say we want to fade out just the front and back legs, since they are problematic, the middle ones are not. So let's identify which indexes are the bones. So it's one, four, five, and I guess the last one. Yeah. So one, four, five, and eight. And we need to define on which animation clip names or tags we want to fade out the selected legs. I will tag the animation clip attack. So legs animator will use animator which is assigned here, so under extra control, to read its currently played animation. And if the clip which is played is for example tagged attack. The neutral don't have this tag, so when we hit play, you see that the animation looks right now. What's more, spider could move during this attack and the middle legs will be still animated by the gluing. Let's move the spider on some uneven surface, like here, and let's move it. And you see that there's something not right. And it's caused by the rotation. Then it moves correctly. But what to do if your character movement controller is not handling rotation like that? You can go to motion modules, add utility auto align body matrix, and it will do something. But it not rotated the whole body. By default, it's rotating just the ray casting, like you see there, the lines. When I change it, they are changing angle but increase rotate hips and you get the right effect. So character movement controller don't need to handle the rotation for the uneven terrain. It can be done by Lex Animator custom module. But let me show you another thing. There will be next problem to solve. And you see that the body now overlaps with the ground. That's because spider legs detect the ground below object and lower the body to reach it. But when we're working with spiders, we also want to take the higher legs into account. And to do this, we can add multi-leg body elevate helper module. And now when we go there, oh, I forgot about the hips rotation. One. And I will actually amplify the effect so you will notice it sooner. Yeah, with adjust power so high, it even goes more than it's required. Well, let's make it one and test it. Yeah, now it looks correct. You probably noticed that the front legs are getting a bit crumpled. To fix that, we can go to setup detection and with spherecast enabled, we can adjust the spherecast realign. It can help placing legs in a tight places, but it can take off a bit of details in open space areas. Another extra tip, this creature legs looks nice when going backward, but forwards they're getting stretched too much. And you can help this case a bit by entering IK, select and leg, individual parameters and changing glue point offset. Now when the creature will move forward, it will move this leg sano. Or you can add utility basic pose adjust to make the back legs being posed differently. Alright, and that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have some questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Hit the bell for notifications, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.